One of the most important tools when you're building your Zenith aircraft is obviously going to be your rivet gun. There's over 5,000 rivets in the airframe that you're going to have to drive. You have your air riveter, best time saver, two poles and pull the rivet, and your hand riveter for tight spots. This is a fixed head hand riveter, this is a swivel head hand riveter for even tighter spots. They're very cheap to uh, purchase, uh, very useful, and uh, they squeeze the rivet and pull it tight. So today I am in the process of machining the head of the, or the nose of the rivet gun. The nose of the rivet gun is the very front of the rivet gun. Zenith Aircrafts use this countersink style AVEX rivet, but we need to have it when it's in the airframe pulled to a dome head. So in the construction standards of the Zenith it, uh, manual, it tells you how you need to machine the head. So today I'm going to machine the head. I've already gone ahead and machined one rivet nose. This is the A4 size or the 1 8 As you can see, you have the slight dome there and that's gonna allow the countersunk rivet to be pulled into a dome shape. It fits in there perfect. Here is the tool I'm using to machine these rivets. It is uh, a carbide rotary file you can get at uh, Princess Auto or Harbor Freight. It's very simple. Um, you just slightly dome the rivet nose until it matches the diameter of the rivet head. All right, as you can see, we are starting out with a A5 rivet head. It's flush here, and uh, we wanna make a dome shape so we can have that nice dome that's required for the uh, Zenith aircraft. Uh, A5 rivet here, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it is the countersink style, 120 degree on there. So it will, this is the proper nose piece for it, but I need to make a dome very similar to that. So first step is we're gonna take a standard drill bit. Um, the size really doesn't matter as long as it's smaller than your final divot that you require. I'm just gonna get it in there and just start so you're straight. Just wanna start that little tiny, tiny, tiny bit there. That allows a rotary file that we're gonna use to start straight. And we're gonna keep that straight at 90 degrees. It's loud, it's annoying the next steps, and uh, you gotta take your time, but it's very easily done. So uh, here we go. A little tip, as you're grinding the bit and you're trying to check for size, your uh, shank of your rivet's not gonna fit. So what you're gonna wanna do is just find a small drill bit, give it a little run, a quick deburr of the hole, and then it goes in perfectly fine. We're gonna keep grinding. All right, we're zoomed in here. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully it's not too blurry. But you can uh, see that the round face of the rivet, once we put it into this nose piece, is, let's see if I can get this going here. Get my bat and my hands out of the way. It's about the, it's the same size as the diameter of the rivet. If you had machined the hole too deep, it's uh, not the end of the world. So all you'd have to do is file the nose piece flat on this plane here, which would then bring the dome part back up to flush. So there you go. The machining of a A5 tip for a air riveter for a Zenith aircraft.